What's up, everybody? It's Cool J once again. Can the Tigers make it to the postseason this year or not? And that's what we're going to talk about in this video right here. I was sitting on this article a few weeks ago, and it wasn't really that long, but they were actually talking about the Tigers. And, you know, because in the first half, they, were, they weren't doing great, they weren't doing bad, but the Detroit Tigers were doing decent. They were doing decent that they weren't in last place or they weren't in third place or in fourth either, too. You know, too. They were always in first or second. That's where they would be, first or second. So now, I was reading this article and it says five reasons why you should believe in tigers and five reasons why you should not believe in the tigers. Okay. So I want to I'm going to I actually have this in my mind. So I'm going to tell you in the uh, on the on the side where you should believe in the tigers, okay? Five reasons why you should believe in tigers. Number 1. Miguel Cabrera is a good batter. He's a really good hitter. He is a legitimate Triple Crown candidate and he has been carrying the team. Ever since ever since 2010, he's just he has changed from you know from 2009. You know he wasn't really doing that well. Well, he was doing good, but he wasn't doing as well he as he's doing right now this year. You know he's not a drunken drunken guy that beats up his wife. He says he's doing better. So yeah, so he, so he's actually carrying a team. Well, I shouldn't say he's carrying a team that he's making the team win, but he's hitting home runs. He's getting RBIs. He has a good batting average, so that's pretty good. One. Two. Brandon Bosch, one of the best left-handed batters who could actually hit the ball really well against left-handed pitchers. Really well. Really good. I I don't remember the last time when I ever seen a a left-handed hitter that was really good at uh, against um, left-handed pitchers because it usually be the right-handed batters go against left-handed go against left-handed pitchers and it is what it is you know either way they have to do that but left-handed batters were not are not really good at going against left-handed pitchers so it is what it is you know it's like apples and oranges <laughs> But at the same time, Brandon Box, he's doing really well. And he's a rookie. He is a rookie. This guy is amazing. You guys should really check out Brandon Box. He is from the, D D the Detroit Tigers. Detroit Tigers. He's amazing. Either way, one way or another. He is amazing. Doing really well. You guys should check him out. You know, check out uh, tomorrow's game. All right. And okay. And okay. That's number two. Three. They have the best home record. In the American League, I mean, if you check it right now, they are 34-15. I mean, they have a better home record than the Yankees have, than the Texas Rangers have, even with, even than uh, uh, than the White Sox have. I mean, that's amazing right there. That's actually pretty amazing right there. I mean, not better than Nationally has, because the Braves uh, has a better home record than the Tigers have, but still, in the American League, the Tigers have a better home record. Four. At the end of the inning, like the ninth inning, the most important thing that people care about is to end the game. And and Jose Belverde, a closing pitcher, he is one of those guys who will actually get the job done. Unlike years ago, like people like Todd Jones, they never really get the job done. No. Now Rodney, he was he was all right, but he really didn't do like like Jose Jose Valverde does. Jose Valverde is a beast, and he even said that it's it's one of the best seasons that he ever had this year. Like it's one of the best, and Jose, see Jose is Jose is just so amazing. I mean, you guys should actually check Jose Valverde out. He is is really cool. Real talk, he is. But but um but not to get all this mixed mix up. I want to go to number five. And number five, we actually have a strong, a strong starting pitcher. Well, not not not. I'm not talking about Verland, but we also have someone who could actually help the Tigers 
besides Verlander, like, okay, okay, like, okay, if we're actually in a losing streak or something like that, we, we, we need, to, we don't, we don't also have to trust Verlander. It's not always like that. They also trust Max Serzer. So, so you could say Max Serzer is the number two starter pitcher. That, that is really good, and you can actually trust, even though he has some flaws going on, but he has done really well ever since he came back to the minor league. So, yeah. So, those are the five reasons why you should believe in the Tigers, and they can make it to the postseason this year. It's just about to pick my chair and everything. Okay. Now, let's go to the other side. Five reasons why you should not believe in the Tigers this year. One, the road record sucks. I mean, really, it really does suck. And I believe, if if I'm not uh, if I'm correct, they have the worst road record in the American League. Seriously, really, they do. They are 16-29. I mean, that's that's really horrible. I mean, they have a good home record. I mean, you're not really shocked when you see see someone in their home team win, but it's not just about winning home games, it's also about winning uh, road games too. And if you can't win road games, then you're not going to win in win any games in in October cuz they need cuz if they want to play in October, then they really need to step their game up. Okay. Two. Number 2. There they have something that I have been talking about outside of YouTube. They have a lack of speeding of, of speeding at first base like period they have a lack of lacks of that and if and correct me if I'm wrong they are in eighth place of of stealing bases or of stolen bases and and many more and every single time well not every single time but most most of the time when it's when one of the Detroit Tigers go to first base, they're out. You got you have a feeling that you know every time they run the first base, they're out because why? Because some of them just don't really run fast. For example, Maglio Ordonez, he doesn't really run fast. He, the guy just jogs. Miguel Cabrera just run just run. Well, I should say just jog. People like Austin Jackson and Brandon Boss, they actually run. They run their fastest. Like it's like their life, you know what I'm saying? But but it's but we're not talking just talking about the the rookies. We're also we're talking about the the Detroit Tigers as a whole. Three. When it's important, when it's really important, when you have guys on base that is, that really needs to come to home plate, the Tigers are unable to bring those guys at home plate. They, they suck at at RBIs. I'm just gonna be honest about that. They suck at RBIs. That's number three. They suck at RBIs. Number four. The numbers seven through numbers nine hitters are above a are I mean not above but below a three hundred betting average so so yeah so they're so so when it comes to like Brandon Inns or Alex Avila or or Jared Lear or Ramon Santiago their bad their bad average is not really uh, above 300 it's really below 300 really it is it's not really well they're not really doing well that's four five we don't have a strong, strong left-handed starting pitcher. And if you see right now, Andy Oliver is not really doing well. So that's really it. So when you actually look at all, all those five reasons to believe and not to believe, they both are right on this. And to me, they're in second place right now. They still have a shot to actually make it to the postseason. So, what do you guys think about this? Do you guys think that the Tigers can make it to the postseason or not? So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And make sure you guys check out the Sports News Today show that's coming up tomorrow, 6 p.m. I am out. Um, what do you guys think? Peace.